You grab your Nintendo DS and turn it on. You hear this little sound. And right after, you start playing New Super Mario Brothers. Doesn't matter if you were 7 or 70 at the time, or if you had already played other Super Mario games on different consoles. New Super Mario Brothers is the game for Nintendo DS, the best-selling one in history. And now you're here, after beating it, to uncover all its fun facts and hidden secrets. We're gonna tell you 25 amazing secrets of New Super Mario Brothers for Nintendo DS. So at the beginning of the game, we see Peach's castle being attacked, and oh, surprise, Bowser and his son kidnap the princess. Nobody saw that one coming. Anyway, in the background, we see a bunch of toads running around in panic, or at least we thought they were toads, because if you zoom in on these characters' models, you'll actually realize there were five identical toads worth. They were placed there and like this because they were so small they couldn't be recognized. Bet you didn't notice that. We don't know how long it took you to beat New Super Mario Brothers, but chances are you didn't take the quickest route the first time around. That is, going to the first castle in the first world. Here, we can take a cannon ride to World 5, then head to the Ghost House, and from there, another cannon blast to World 8. This is the route used by speedrunners to try and beat the current world record, 22 minutes and 14 seconds. It's like Sonic playing Super Mario. Every real Super Mario fan should have noticed this epic reference. At the end of screen 1-2, there's a gap in the top part that leads to a secret area. It probably reminds you of the warp zone from the original Super Mario Bros. for Nintendo. There were these pipes to go to other worlds. In New Super Mario Bros., it takes us to a secret exit of the stage. New Super Mario Brothers was planned to be something really big, like as big as the universe, because instead of the traditional flat-shaped worlds we know, its worlds were going to be more like planets. It's not that New Super Mario Brothers was going to be a Super Mario Brothers galaxy, but this scrapped idea of each world being a new planet was definitely considered. What do you think? One of the best things Super Mario Brothers can boast about is its music. In fact, it became incredibly viral on TikTok for a reason related to that. The game's enemies move to the beat of the songs. They walk, and when there's a beat, they make a different move. This trend reached TikTok, and millions of people worldwide started goofing around whenever a beat played in their music. In New Super Mario Brothers, playing as Green Mario is like an open secret, and even though this trick is revealed after beating the game, you can actually do it anytime. All you need to do is press the L and R buttons while selecting the file you want to play on. Did you realize that the credits of New Super Mario Brothers hides a musical secret? Each of the letters, when touched, will emit a different sound. For example, if you touch the A of avocado, alpaca, or Bowser Jr. will shout. If you touch the C of Cookie, you will hear Bowser Jr. hiding in his shell. If you touch the G of Goofy, because you were one of the ones who tripped on the first Goomba, Mario will exclaim. Yes. Yes. If you touch the N of Nintendo, you will hear Mini Mario perform a ground pound. Touching the Z, Peach will thank you. If you complete the game with Luigi, the letters with Mario's voice clip will be replaced by Green Mario. And in case you hadn't noticed, the letter Q has no sound because it doesn't appear at any time in the credits. In New Super Mario Brothers, it's possible to force a bunch of glitches. Some of them are very useful, like being able to save the Mega Mushroom if you hit a regular block just as you get the power up. Others are, let's say, less practical, like going through walls to get stuck without being able to get out, or locking the star coins, making them impossible to collect. When you finish a stage, you can force Toad Houses to appear by stopping the timer with the same number in the last two digits. So if the timer ends in 11, 22, or 33, a red Toad House will appear, giving you a random item. If it ends in 44, 55, or 66, a green Toad House will show up, allowing you to get several 1-Up Mushrooms. And if it ends in 77, 88, or 99, an orange Toad House will appear, giving you a Mega Mushroom. There's a secret mode so secret that you probably missed it when you played New Super Mario Bros. To activate it, press the pause button on the world map screen and L R L R X X Y Y. Then, this will activate a challenge mode where you can't go back once you move forward in a stage, just like in the original Super Mario Bros. game. 
In the first Super Mario Brothers, it was possible to perform this trick to get infinite lives, and this time, Nintendo wanted to pay homage to the classic by adding it to New Super Mario Brothers. At the end of the first stage in World 1, you can find a red Koopa and a massive stair-shaped platform. If you grab the Koopa and place it on one of the steps, it'll stay on that spot. Once you've done this, you can jump infinitely on the enemy, getting a new life with each jump. There were many more spots throughout the game where it's possible to perform Form this infinite lives trick, but this one is the quickest to do. In the game's data, you find a file with the name Scrupulous Fingore, a sort of floating head that points accusingly with his finger. It was you! In an interview with Shigeru Miyamoto, he was asked why this character was discarded, and his response was to dodge the question with a disappointed look on his face. From this, it was discovered that Scrupulous Fingore had been present in many more games, such as Super Mario 64. Everything pointed to it being a character that Nintendo used as a placeholder while creating the rest of the characters, but the reality is that it was all a lie. <gasps> Scrupulous Fingore doesn't even actually exist. It was a prank created by an internet user that got way out of control. This joke became so popular that within hours, Scrupulous Fingore appeared as a cameo in a bunch of games. In the end, it won the fans' affection, and this made-up character from New Super Mario Bros. now belongs to internet pop culture. If you're very attentive, you probably notice that the minigames in New Super Mario Bros. are identical to those in Super Mario 64 DS. Now, although this isn't entirely true, as New Super Mario Bros. added some new multiplayer minigames, as well as having three exclusive ones, Balloon Racing, whack a monte and bob -omb Danger. By the way, now that we're talking retro games, how many of these Nintendo DS games have you played? Let us know in the comments. You'd only notice this detail if you played the game on a physical Nintendo DS. If you close the console while the game is running, Mario will say goodbye by saying bye bye Afterward, if you open the console to continue playing, you'll hear Mario say It's me, Mario! If you wait a while on the game's intro screen, you'll discover that the scene changes slightly. Mario returns while being chased by a green shell. He gets hit off the screen and comes back as a small Mario. There's also an alternate version where Luigi appears alongside Mario and are both hit by a green shell. The first promotional videos of New Super Mario Bros. were shown on a Nintendo DS prototype, a beta version of the console that looked like it was made entirely of plastic and had a simpler exterior design than the final one. There are also promotional images showing the game in its oldest version. Here, you can see the visual style of the background is very similar to Yoshi's Island, with many elements appearing hand-drawn. There was a demo version with a completely different logo. In it, Mario could store up to three items at once, run when he was was giant, and the Mega Mushroom was static when it came out of the question block. Just like with Super Mario 64 DS, where a bunch of characters like Yoshi, Wario, and Luigi appeared, Nintendo also wanted to include a variety in New Super Mario Bros. During the initial planning of the game, they thought about having four different characters, Mario, Luigi, and two others. Among the options were Wario and Waluigi, or Peach and Toad. In an interview with Famitsu Magazine, Miyamoto mentioned that they had planned for Wario to have a fart attack like the one in Super Smash Bros., and for Peach to to be able to float thanks to her dress. Eventually though, all this was discarded because they decided that all characters should have the same gameplay system. That's why Mario and Luigi have identical speeds, jumps, and stats. Despite this, remnants of this idea remain in the game's files. Nintendo forgot to remove custom character transitions, and by modifying the game, they can be activated and played. They're similar to those in Super Mario 64 DS, but completely unique. Two very interesting Super Mario suits have been found in the game's code. The first one is white, and it's used to replicate and change its color to create a glowing effect when having the superstar. The second one is much more interesting. It's a black plumber suit that has no assigned function. It is speculated that it's a discarded power-up. We bet it's the Super Ball flower from Super Mario Land. The US version of New Super Mario Bros. hides a screenshot of the game's debug mode. To access it, you only have to press some buttons when it gets stuck, just as you remove the game card. In this way, you will access this screen with a lot of letters and errors that doesn't look good. 
With the release of New Super Mario Bros. DS on the Wii U Virtual Console, the minimum recommended age to play the game increased from 3 and 7 years to 12. This is because the content regulated by the European Union became stricter, and they considered that the mini games that made references to gambling were aimed at an adult audience. This also happened with Super Mario 64 DS. Let's just be real. It hurts when our work is criticized. Imagine the macaroni necklace you once gave your mother. Instead of telling you that she loved it, she would have thrown it in the trash. And that would have surely broken your little heart. Well, something similar happened to Miyamoto, the creator of this game. He said in the Iwata Ass interview for New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the difficulty of New Super Mario Bros. was heavily criticized for being too easy for players. This was an option that was hard for him to accept because he created the game to be accessible for everyone. Since then Mario games have become a little bit more difficult, but not too much. In the instruction manual for New Super Mario Bros., we find a quick rundown of the story and characters. One detail that really grabs our attention is this line right here, mentioning that Bowser Jr. still believes Princess Peach is his mom. This one's a little nod to Super Mario Sunshine, where Bowser Jr. dresses up as Shadow Mario to kidnap Peach, thinking she's his real mom. But wait, there's more. In the Casino minigame section, we can hear Casino Delfino's music, which might hint that these games games take place in the Hotel Paradiso Casino on Isle Delfino from Super Mario Sunshine. If you couldn't get the item you wanted in the bonus zones, you'll be frustrated to know how easy it was to get your favorite. You just had to stand under the block, press start before the one you wanted, and then press start once more and jump quickly. Can you imagine a slot machine that works as you expect? When you touch the goal flag at the end of a stage, the countdown stops. If you manage to get the last two digits to match, you'll trigger some special music and set off fireworks. The number of fireworks depends on the last digit of the countdown. For example, if you stop it at 99, you'll see 9 explosions. After beating the game and rescuing Princess Peach, a blue toad house will appear at the beginning of World 1. In this shop, you can exchange star coins for different backgrounds to customize your profile. Plus, if you collect all the star coins in the game, you'll complete it 100%, earning three special stars next to your save file. This Super Mario secret adventure has come to an end, but there are plenty more to come, so don't miss any by subscribing to our channel and catching up on the next ones. See you next time!